In this video, I'll share with you a few really hot opportunities for new market entrants on the Russian market. Stay with me until the end of this video and you'll learn how you can make a buck or two out of those opportunities, even if you know nothing about today's Russian market, Europe's biggest marketplace. I'm Stanislav Grafsky, a Russian lawyer, market entry consultant and entrepreneur. I introduce international clients to new sales channels and market opportunities in Russia within 90 days. Over the past 30 years, I've been helping international businesses enter and expand in Russia. There is a plenty of controversial information about today's Russian market in the Western mainstream media. It's not always easy to weed up the seeds from the chaff. The information I'm about to share with you is purely based on my experience. It is neither applicable to everyone's needs nor does it fully coincide with official stats data. Besides, it is not my intent to provide you with exhaustive list of today's Russian market potentials. It's just a tip of the iceberg, whereas most other opportunities are hidden below the waterline. What is common to the industries I expand on is fast return on investments. Over the past 25-30 years, Russian economy evolved from Soviet planned system to the market-driven one. As a result of dramatic and massive privatization of the 1990s, many companies gone bust, privatized, changed their profile or disappeared completely. Economy revival that started some 20 years ago with Mr. Putin is still on its way. That time, most of local businesses lost their regular supplies from within ex-USSR countries. Due to ruble devaluation of 2014, Russian manpower became rather cheap, thus making Russian manufacturing quite attractive to international players. So my first personal preference due to its huge size, wide variety of options available and relative low visibility to common observer is industrial supply into the Russian market. That primarily includes manufacturing technology industries. Due to cheap yet highly skilled manpower in the country, many advanced global companies capitalize on Russian production localization these days. Manufacturing industries are on the grow while most of currently used equipment and technologies seem rather obsolete and require renewal. Those industries demonstrate steady demand for new technologies of all kinds – machineries, tools, disposables, as well as supporting materials and related services. By the way, new technologies are normally customs duty-free in Russia these days. If you open to marrying a proper local P in your target industry via joint venture entry mode, your expansion is likely doomed to inevitable success. I'm to place a separate video on the topic of joint ventures in Russia, so keep your eyes open if interested. Another industry that demonstrates unprecedented growth in the last few years is agriculture. Traditionally, for the last 80-90 years, Russia was importing quite a lot of agro products from abroad. Due to above-mentioned ruble and manpower of devaluation of 2014, agribusinesses boosted the ROI fewfold and increased both volume and range of production within two to four years. For example, Russia became world's biggest wheat exporter these days. All those industry changes and exponential growth revealed the fact that local agri-industry machinery and tools manufacturers neither meet local demand nor fully realize today's industry quality and efficiency standards. So another huge opportunity, opportunity for international supplies into the Russian market is supply of agro-machineries, tools, harvesters, technologies and supportive services. E-commerce in Russia is another industry that experiences explosive growth. Russia is the largest e-commerce market in Europe and the sixth largest in the world. Over 45% of all Russians prefer online purchase. E-commerce boost in the country is greatly accounted to fintech industry development, mainly in e-payment systems, as well as numerous pickup options across the country. Average Russian e-shopper appears to be more advanced than average European in e-shopping habits and sophistications. International brands are perceived to be trendier and more trustworthy than local ones by average Russian. E-commerce year-to-year industry growth is over 25%. E-commerce opportunity is open both to cross-border e-shops and those who trade from the Russian soil. I believe it is definitely worth localizing in Russia. A great example of successful localization in the e-commerce industry is British Asus. Check Google or YouTube for its success story in Russia. But you don't need to be of 
ACES caliber to succeed in, in Russian e-commerce. It is a fast and straightforward model even for any small business entity. I think digital is another area for rapid capitalization. Russian expertise in math and programming is globally valued, while Russian professionals are, on average, three to seven times cheaper than US ones with the same level of competence, if not higher. Besides, Russian government digitalization program offers plenty of opportunities to IT and digital businesses to participate in government procurement initiatives for many years to come. And that is just a tip of the iceberg in this industry. I could continue the list of lucrative industries and businesses with infrastructure project supply, cosmetics and perfumes, food processing, packaging and storage, medical devices and equipment, medical tourism and private clinics, pharma and drugs, animal food, safety and security equipment, premium and fashion in apparel and footwear, priority national project supply options, endless food and FMCG options, and so on. But those topics are for the whole series of other videos. If you want to learn more about the Russian market realities, trends, and fresh business news, join my LinkedIn group called Market Entry and Business in Russia. You'll find its link below. Also, get connected with me directly on LinkedIn. That link is also available. Just send me a short accompanying note that you saw my video so that I would prioritize your contact request among a few thousand of others on my waiting list. If you'd like to discuss your business prospects on the Russian market, book your consultation with me using the link below. If you have questions for immediate answer or topics to be covered in the future, type them below and I won't leave them unresponded. Alternatively, write down your biggest challenge or other issue related to with business in Russia and I'll suggest the solutions possible. Please subscribe to my channel, my mailing list using the links below and click the bell icon so you won't miss out my other coming videos with battle-tested advices. And don't forget to share this video with those of your contacts who could benefit of it. And please give me a like. Everyone likes to get likes. Feel free to say hi to me in the comment section below to establish direct connection and help this video go up in searches. Thank you very much for your time and deed, and I look forward to meeting you soon.